Hi everyone, this is the DAC Process Control Trainer number 603. As you can see, this is a very large trainer. This trainer was designed for, it can be for students, but it's more for somebody that has um, a controls history or a background in process control. So we'll start off at this trainer with some of its basic features. This trainer is large enough to serve um, students or someone that's already uh, needs to come in and do more advanced training on two different sides. We can host up to three to six individuals. We have a tank one and a tank two. So that allows multiple people to do multiple items on this trainer at once. This trainer is set up right now where it has a single loop process going through it. So water is coming from the tank behind it. Uh, it has two motors that are uh, being utilized right at this time, going into tank two and going into tank one. At this moment, I have this set up to uh, operate under, this side's operating under air pressure through a control valve. And as you can see, there's three different control valves that are all industrial size. So someone that would be very familiar with these controls will feel right at home with this trainer. Uh, we have the ability to also pump water, similar to this one, using a solenoid valve. This can also use a solenoid valve. We can control the flow of this trainer through ball valves situated throughout uh, the trainer itself. We can use, uh, as I mentioned, air. And I'll show you in a minute. We also have a PID controller that's situated on the sides. Um, we also be utilized to control fluid levels and the control valve at the same time. So this one can do cascade. Uh, it also has a bubbler on the side, which is a nice tool. Uh, you can hook up different uh, items that you may have, like a DP uh, differential pressure transmitter. These poles right here artists um, allow you to be able to hook up any accessories that you may have, whether you had it through DAC or whether you had it on hand, you have that ability right here. Um, to operate, this trainer is going to have multiple ways to operate power. We have a main control power that's right here, main control board. This is used to operate um, pumps, solenoid valves, uh, the heater, and it also gives you a 24 volt direct current power outlets. You have, uh, through banana clips, you have your power outlets here, earth, ground. You have multiple electric free lines, and you have multiple uh, air free lines. This trainer, it has, also has the ability to, uh, not only as I mentioned, use the control valves, but I can also ma manipulate it just using direct air pressure. Um, with the control in the back. So this offers a very wide variety of, of different types of process control. We also have industrial uh, chillers, uh, chiller tube, and in the back, which we'll show, we also have um, an electric on-demand heater. So you can have a dynamic heat control or cool control system, a temperature control. You could have hot on one side, cold on the other, mixing together as, as needed. Uh, this trainer also allows you to manipulate different uh, valve, uh, quick connect valves here. We have more quick connect valves down underneath on the sides, up through here for different types of uh, extra equipment or different types of skills. Um, as you can see, this trainer is very large, but it separates right down here through the middle. Um, in the back, there's two clamps that will bolt on to allow this trainer to come apart. So this trainer, in order for it to operate, it does have to be put together. All the PVC has to be coupled together to allow the fluid to process. So unfortunately, you can't take it apart and, and operate it in two separate pieces. It has to be put together. The, uh, right now, we have, this is in a cascade configuration. It can come up from the bottom and raise or lower the level of the fluid. Uh, you can use it simultaneously, cascade, or coming up from the bottom, lower level the fluid. Same on tank one. You can also do that. Uh, you can adjust in different ways to control the uh, fluid. 
At, at this moment, I have the drain valve adjusted, cracked just a little bit to maintain my, my fluid uh, level control right here. Plus, it's draining going back into the tank. So, you have other, you can hook up cold water, hot water, this can be hot water out and in. We have a chill water over here. So, multiple ways to use this trainer. It's a very fun trainer to use and it's a uh, very intuitive. So the 603, as I mentioned earlier, it has the ability to allow multiple uh, people to be training on it at once. So it comes with removable panels that have different elements. We have a PID controller, a strip chart recorder, current to pressure converters, square root extractor. Uh, you have multiple, you have a one, a 60 PSI output, a one, a half to 30 output air, and an instrument air. Um, as I mentioned, I have one of the control valves that's operating tank one right now, and I have this hooked up through the current, current pressure controller going to the control valve. The uh, PID controller um, also can operate your standard, your fill and your drain, and then maintain that fluid level. So these panels are all removable. You can move them up, down, however is needed. The main air coming in is situated in the back. Uh, the main air control is also situated in the back. So everything is nice and neat for the operator up front. They should not have to come back to the rear to uh, operate any of the controls. They can do everything up front or on the sides. So on this side of the trainer, now again, these panels are removable. So you can swap panels from either side of the trainer to your preference. On this trainer, we have our main control panel, our main power on and off. Very easy to get two fuses for pumps, solenoid valves, and 24 AC power. We have additional free lines. We have additional air free lines. We have also a flex. This is part of the variable speed motor, a power flex 525. Uh, this is another way to control that, uh, that fluid going through the trainer. You can ramp up the speed right through here, or you can dial it down as needed. We have another PID controller for anybody that's working on this side of the trainer. We also have a PLCs down here to go ahead and control through uh, your computer and computer software. We have our bubbler up here, bubbler assembly. And so that pretty much wraps up the, uh, the entire portion of the features on the trainer.